Hello everybody. Happy Monday. I'm actually here with a box opening. If I sound kind of far away, it's because I'm actually standing up right now. I just cut this box open a second ago um, just to like hide my address and things, but then I saw this gorgeous box um, on the inside, but I haven't taken the um, pack packaging off the top yet to like see what it fully looks like. So I thought I'd turn on my camera real quick and show you all. Um, if you've seen any of my videos before, I tend to just put who the doll is and who the artist is right off the bat, so it's not much of a surprise, but we'll just go ahead and dig in here. This doll got here pretty quick. Um, he is, uh, was made by an artist in Germany, and we can look at her name right now, actually. So, Renata's Reborns, Renata, um, Coons. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly, I'm sure I'm not, though. But this box is just like stunning. So let's take this big box out and then I might sit down. <laughs> so, so yeah, he came pretty quick. Um, I bought him about two weeks ago. Oh my goodness, <laughs> if you guys can see my cat, she hops straight in the other box. They always, they love box opening days. <laughs> um, so yeah, ordered him two weeks ago. He got to the U.S. in about a week and then sat in customs for <laughs> literally another whole week after that. But after he was done getting through customs, he was here within like a day or two. So, so yeah, two week process there. The shipping was really simple on my end. Um, but this box is so pretty. I think the camera's out of focus right now. Um, but there's this up oh, and <laughs> now it's gonna focus on the other table sorry guys um but there's this gorgeous ribbon and then another tag right here let's go ahead and slip this big bow off and i can show it to you more closely this is so beautiful and then it's her logo again we're not as reborns it's so beautiful i love how the box uh, matches the color of the ribbon that's really beautiful as far as presentation goes. So, let's go ahead. I don't want to mess up this box, so I might, <laughs> this might take me a minute. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Here we go. Oh, wow. Wow, this is so beautiful this might be the most like beautiful box opening I've ever had easily so let's see here um and even though this doll sat in customs for a while it, it doesn't you know it doesn't appear to me that they got into any anything within this box from what I can tell at least so there's this beautiful folder again with her branding on it and a ribbon in a color coordinating um way Let's slip this open. I'm assuming this is his paperwork. But we can look at that first. Oh wow, <laughs> this is gonna give away just straight off the bat who it is. But it's Real Born Michael. Look how stunning this baby is. This is such beautiful, beautiful presentation, this really large photo. That's just so beautiful. I just, wow, he's so pretty. I just, I love this baby so much. Um, if there's any kind of discernible pattern in the way I collect, it's that I definitely gravita gravitate towards blonde dolls, and he is certainly, uh, blonde, maybe the most blonde I've had. So this is Realborn Michael. He is actually the grandson of the owners of Bountiful Baby. Um, he was scanned quite a while ago, I think back in 2015, and then he, um, was officially made into a vinyl kit, again with her branding on this. <laughs> we'll try to keep my curious little kittens away. Um, anyway, sorry, I always have like 12 trains of thoughts <laughs> going when I'm doing these box openings. I might open this later just because it's sealed, so I'm gonna set this aside. But yes, he was the, he's the grandson of the owners of Bountiful Baby. 
and he's just the cutest little thing i can't wait to see him but we'll open all the like little extras first which renata if you happen to be watching this is just so so sweet of you everything is so beautifully presented um so definitely kudos to you on that um it makes a box opening you know so fun and so special when when artists are kind enough to include all these little extras like for example this pacifier <laughs> like this sweet little penguin um and then there's a pacifier clip and this was in his um artist photos it's a really lovely kind of um mint very light green bluish uh bibs pacifier so that's very very kind we'll slip that back into the bag and then put it in this bag <laughs> i always try to keep um I always try to keep the originals with the dolls if I can help it, so we'll try to keep all of these things together. And then there's some <laughs> napkins kind of coordinate. That's interesting. So, so we'll use the side. I love how everything is kind of like polka dots, like these gold polka dots. Birthday boy. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> That's so cute. Let's see what else we've got here. I'm just kind of pulling things out as I see them. Of course, the table is going to shake around um, with my cat. <laughs> so, sorry guys. One moment here. Okay. The next thing I pulled out, I love these little socks. They're gray, um, or white, I should say, with gray stripes. And then there's a diaper. I'm not positive of the brand here. Um, but it would be, uh, European if I had to guess. But anyway, it says, um, love and then XOXO, it's got dad. And then this is one of those little like burp claws if I had to guess, but I'll leave that tied for now and set it aside. Let's see what's going on. Let's do this one next. So again, we've got, um, her um, branding, like her logo here, and, and I can see that there's a hanger in here, and we'll unwrap this. I always try to keep, and everything smells so good, I'm going to say that. Um, I try not to rip up the wrapping paper, but sometimes it's a little bit impossible when there's tape and things. Part of me just wants to get straight to the baby, but I'll be good. I'll open, I'll open the presents first. <laughs> All right, I am ripping this paper for sure. Not too bad. I kept it mostly intact here. <laughs> All right. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. A lot of his. Um. This is a big baby. If this fits him. <laughs> um. But this is one of the outfits that was in his photos. So um, when I showed you that photo right off the bat, you may have recognized it. But it's got a little rattle, a duck, rocking horse. Um, what are those things called when you like stack all the little like rings or blocks or whatever? And then here's like ABC little blocks. Oh, it just smells so good. I don't even know how to describe it. It smells like a spa. <laughs> but yeah, this outfit is extremely large <laughs> i thought he was oh no it says it's zero to three this is um bye bye baby is the brand um so yeah i don't know i think he's a 20 inch or maybe 21 inches so you know those dolls can be a little bit larger but also though i feel like the clothing sometimes looks a lot bigger and then you put it on the doll and it's not really that big so we'll see we'll just have to we'll have to see i've never had um i've never had this sculpt before so ah here's why everything smells so amazing it's um this fragrance in here is it eucalyptus maybe tie a bow with the sachet ribbon and hang from anywhere that you enjoy for this beautiful fragrance huh okay i'm trying to uh, sorry i'm like scanning through this real quick to see i'm it doesn't say exactly what fragrance it is, but it smells so, so good. Oh man, I really, I wanna find these <laughs> somewhere here in the US and buy a whole bunch. So that smells amazing. All right, 
I think we're down to the baby. We've got um, some tissue paper over his head. I can see his head peeking out here. So maybe I'll grab a little pillow to put him on. I'm already starting to get a sneak peek at him. And he's beautiful. Okay, let's move this box. Hold on, you guys are about to hear probably a large crash. <laughs> things are falling, things are moving around. Okay, let me grab this. Down to the baby. Oh, this is so exciting. All right, we'll see how the light hangs in there. I'm doing this after work. Um, so it's gonna, it's, we're very, very quickly losing the light and it's been kind of dark and stormy all day, but I feel like my dolls always come on days when it's raining. So at this point I'm like, this is just good luck. They say it's good luck for brides. It must be really good luck for, for me as far as my doll collecting hobby. I'm getting a sneak peek at the outfit right now and it's completely gorgeous. But first I want to just point out that there's this ribbon that says, um, Renato's Reborns again. And then there's this really just gorgeous, um, like, keychain almost. <laughs> and it's got a little, like, blue pom-pom. So I'm going to go ahead and slip this down. And set this aside. So here, if you need a closer look. <laughs> it's kind of just fuzzy. It's super cute. And then there's a little thank you. And then you can see where the heart comes out right there. And then here's the ribbon again. Um, Renata's Reborns. Everything is so beautiful as far as the presentation. Okay, and then he's wrapped in this just like super fuzzy um, light gray blanket. It's just super duper soft, really nice. And he doesn't have a diaper on his head, so I think we're just gonna go ahead, go ahead and look at him and get a look at this just stunning hair. So, one, two, three. Oh my gosh. Hey, buddy. Oh, you're so cute. You're adorable. Oh my gosh. I'm loving his skin tone. This is my first experience with this artist. Um, and he's very, very fair. So my skin is a little bit, a bit darker. <laughs> but then if you can see him in better lighting, you can see it's not that far off of a match. So again, he's got um, her branding again. This, this one's really interesting. Hold on. I'm going to go ahead and unhook this and slide this off and this is a mac illusion um little overall and then he's got a light blue top with a design or like pattern on underneath of it so here's her branding again renata's reborns and this is really interesting it's um one of those tags kind of like leather on the front and then the back is that soft material I don't know I'm bad at describing things but that was what was attached to his outfit and this outfit is really beautiful he's got um these dark gray socks with the little pom-poms on so there's his socks his little um, taupe colored overalls and then a little shirt and then we'll take the uh, packaging off of his head here and then again we're not as reborns here let's see if we can just slip this off without messing up his hair too badly so his hair like honestly that's what drew me I've been looking at Realborn Michael um, for a while considering purchasing or adding that sculpt or to my collection um but I just hadn't found like the perfect one yet and when I saw him I was just like okay yeah I think he's the one like he's just so pretty it was really the hair that drew me to him and her rooting wow like I might um pause the video and brush it real quick and then show him to you guys up close but wow 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 like his rooting is stunning just really really pretty oh I like I like him a lot he's so cute oh my gosh I'm gonna take him off camera for just a second here he's really heavy too I have had a lot of heavy dolls lately which has been really nice um because I like big heavy babies oh look there's this little star pillow in here too and then it color coordinates with the blanket so that's super sweet. 
Oh my gosh, he's just so cute. So there he is. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I'm gonna go, um, I'm gonna pause this video real quick and brush his hair and show it to you guys up close because it's just like, seriously, it's stunning. It's really, really what drew me to this doll. Yeah, he's very pretty. I'm gonna brush his hair real quick and then we'll undress him and take a closer look. And hopefully the light won't be too horrendous, but we'll take a closer look here in a minute. I'll be back in a minute. All right, guys, we are very, very quickly losing the light. So um, I can definitely see a storm heading my way. So this might be a little bit quick, not quite doing the doll the justice that it should, but I'll be sure to take um, lots of photos eventually when we have nicer light. So I thought I'd take you guys down a little bit closer to look at the hair on this doll because like that's honestly like the most impressive. I mean of course the painting is beautiful, no details were missed, but this hair is like honestly it was the very first thing <laughs> that I noticed. I was just like wow I'm obsessed. So I'm gonna take you guys down a little bit closer so you can take a look at it. And it's just stunning. So if the light were better, you could see he has lots of little milk bumps on his nose. But look how like stunning this hair is. I mean, it's just something else. Just so, so, so pretty. I love him. He's so cute little baby no name he I think he's gonna stay a boy just I don't really see girl in this sculpt and of course he was scanned after um real baby Michael so so he is um a boy in my eyes but he's just so cute and let's take a look at his little feet you can see his hands here in two little fists and he has beautiful nails and eventually I'll probably derobe him. Sorry, my cat is getting into a box that she should not be. <laughs> okay, now let's take off his little socks. Sorry, the camera's gonna wiggle around for a moment here. Okay, so let's take off these little socks. And see, a lot of people complain about real born limbs but I really, really like them. I like how much detail there is. I love all the wrinkles. The camera is probably gonna go in and out of focus here, but there's his first little foot and you can see lots of veining. And then here is his other little foot. He's so cute. Let's take a look at this one. Very pretty. So, I don't think I'm gonna fully undress him yet, but I'll be sure to do another video eventually where I show off all of his details. Look at that ankle, my gosh. He is so, like, detailed. I, I really like the real borns. People who complain about them, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not quite sure we're on the same page because I think they're very detailed and well done. I guess they don't maybe perhaps don't like, I don't know. I have no idea what other people's issues are. I just feel like I've heard rumblings here and there where people say they don't like the real borns, but I don't know. I, I think this is my second one now that I'm kind of thinking about it. I definitely have real born Dustin and this is real born Michael, so. I'm trying to think if I have any others. I definitely have a few um, blank ones. Um, watch, I probably do have another one and they've just completely flown out of my out of my brain for the moment, but Dustin is definitely my favorite um, as far as like their faces go. But I don't know guys, he is pretty gosh darn cute. And there he is at another angle. I'll be sure to do a better details video with um, nice light and take some photos and all that. But I'll probably just leave this video here for now. But I want to thank you all for watching and I'll be back um, pretty soon, I'm sure. So thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Bye.